We went to the first Chinese restaurant in North America to earn a Michelin star. Wing Lee in Las Vegas, kitties. And we're going to take you around the restaurant, which is located in Wynn Hotel, Las Vegas, and tell you if we thought it met the hype and what we thought of our meal. Let's talk. Wynn Hotel that was brought to the market by Steve Wynn, who was famously with MGM Casinos and developed the Bellagio down the street, is an exquisite, exquisite resort on the Las Vegas Strip. And it's known as well for its fine, but not so inexpensive dining, including Wing Lee Kitties. And Wing Lee not only has the Michelin star, but it also is rated as a five-star winner through the Forbes Travel Guide. It has Cantonese, Shanghai, and Szechuan items on its menu, and a pretty extensive cocktail menu. It serves things like Peking duck, and crab and lobster seafood dishes, and the dining room has this golden tone with great service, and it's just a beautiful, beautiful space. We went there one evening, and kiddies, if you're going to Wing Lee, you need a reservation, and they are hard to get. If you were to pull it up right now, you will see that lots of days and times totally blacked out. You need a reservation if you are going to Wing Lee. You've been warned. <laughs> the menu offers a very broad selection of dishes, appetizers, mains, rice, noodles, soups, uh, a pretty broad range. It's not as thick <laughs> as some menus we have seen in high-end Asian restaurants, but it covers a lot of very good bases, seafood, poultry, beef, pork, and the appetizers, etc. So, you can pause at this point and look at the menu items and look at those prices, kiddies, because you're going to have to shell out a few dollars at this place. And so, what we intend to do in this video is walk through some of the things that we tried at this restaurant and give you our honest uh opinion as to the taste and if we thought overall it was worth it well you know the prices are kind of steep so it's not like this is bargain basement but we're going to tell you based upon um over our overall impressions of the food and contrast that with the price point the starter was a garlic shrimp spring roll, and it came with three pieces, decent sized pieces, not massive, and it had three accompanying sauces, the Hosen sauce, a Dijon mustard creme sauce, and a Hawthorne berry sauce. I thought the Dijon mustard creme sauce was the best of the sauces, it had nice heat, kind of like a horseradish heat to it. They were tasty little spring rolls. Nice garlic kick there as well. You have to like garlic kitties because it had lots of garlic punch. And those three spring rolls ran about $24 for the trio. We had the General Tao's chicken upon the waitress's recommendation, which was basically the same General Tso's chicken you would see in any Chinese restaurant with uh, little sesame seeds on it, a sweet sauce, with balsamic chili sauce and bok choy. I thought the dish was mediocre. It was mediocre. It was $42. And it was no better than you would get at any carry-out Chinese restaurant. The waitress said that it, would, it was lightly battered. We found it to be heavily battered for a high-end restaurant, and it was merely mediocre, certainly not, not worth the $42 price tag that they were charging. It was hmm, Panda Express quality. Not good at all. Or not great. It was okay if you paid $10 for it. The sauce is way too sweet. 
It was a disaster. And yes, we know, we know, we know that General Tso's chicken is an American dish. And how dare we go to a high-end Chinese restaurant and order such a thing. To that, we will just say, my bad, but it was not great at all. Skip that dish. Now, the three cup sea bass was indeed a winner. It's hard to mess up sea bass. You gotta try hard to mess up sea bass. But it was a very tasty dish with garlic, scallions, basil, and a sweet ginger soy reduction. It was quite tasty and it was a decent portion. $54, that was indeed a winner. The fish was perfectly cooked, melted in your mouth, and um, it was a, just a delicious dish delicious dish and we also tried the fried rice it was a seafood fried rice it's called the young child fried rice it comes with uh, shrimp pork eggs and scallions we had ours without the pork and thought that would be the end of it but we saw they had upcharged our bill by four dollars because they added extra shrimp to replace the pork that was missing so instead of being $30, it was a $34 bowl of rice. And we've had fried rice with more flavor at one third of that price. The rice was kind of bland and needed additional soy sauce to bring it up to par because the rice was merely average. $34? You can get better shrimp fried rice for $13 at any Chinese restaurant. They brought out a complimentary assortment of sweets at the end of the meal. Each one of those were well thought, well presented, beautiful, and tasty. Quite a good ending. They had a dessert menu, but they bring this out for free. So there's really no need to get dessert if you're going to get this selection. And they give you a piece of cake to go as well for free. So what's my bottom line on Wing Lee, this Michelin five-star rated restaurant. Kitties, we paid $150 plus tip for three spring rolls, basically General Tso's chicken, shrimp fried rice, and an order of sea bass. And on this channel, when something just just is exquisite in taste, we use a term. We would say, it was slamming, kitty slamming. There was really nothing at Wing Lee that was slamming. And we didn't get some of the items that it might be known for. But even at that, these more basic items at that price point should have left us one thing more. They left us wanting to go and get a cheeseburger somewhere. Wingley, don't believe the hype. Save your money, kitty. Travel yes, 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 travel yes, we see.